This series of films covers essentially two subjects. It's about the whole subject of equality between men and women. It's also about the subject of misandry, the hatred in society that I see directed towards men. I first became interested in male-female relations years ago, during Wimbledon. <laughs> and also because of the classic quiz show, The Krypton Factor. I remember that women tennis players were complaining that they were being paid less than men. I thought that men play five sets and women play three sets, so surely men should get paid more. But female players argued that they were just as popular as male players, and so should get the same money. So I thought, why not reduce men's tennis to the best of three sets, so that it was fair, and then pay both sexes equally? But the women didn't suggest that. They just argued to be paid the same. What this showed me is that women were complaining about a situation, not really to achieve fairness, but instead to achieve a better deal for themselves. Now men and women do get the same prize money at Wimbledon. This was 700,000 in 2007. Equality has finally caught up with the home of British tennis, was the way one news source put it. But if this is equality, why do men have to work harder for the same reward? Why is it okay to discriminate against men in the amount of work they must do, but not okay to discriminate in their favour in the amount that they're paid? In the Krypton Factor, men and women competed head-to-head -head in mental and physical challenges. But in the main physical event, the assault course, the women received a 45 second head start over the men, and if they crossed the line first, they were called the winners. Even at age 9 watching this, I just couldn't understand the logic. How could a man be beaten by a woman who hadn't done as well? If women couldn't compete fairly with men, why were they competing at all? This was an eye-opener for me, and I've been especially interested in male-female relations ever since. It was only in 2002 that I decided to make these films as an attempt to catalogue and explain some of what I see going on around me in society. All across television, radio, newspapers, the internet, and in government policy, I see very clear discrimination against men on an almost continual basis. Men are presented as plain bad. Men are portrayed as evil, criminal and abusive, or else pathetic and unnecessary. Men seem to be under sustained attack in the media. I'm a man, and I don't recognise myself in any of these portrayals. I also don't recognise my friends or family. I've looked extensively into the reasons behind this depiction of men, and it's led me to a number of conclusions about just what's going on in our society today. These conclusions are addressed in the other films in this series. But the root cause of the situation rests with feminism. Attacking men with feminism has served a purpose for government, business, charities and other agencies. The attack on men has helped these people to make money and gain power in our society. Feminism has enabled men to be oppressed, it's enabled families to be broken up, and it's enabled women to be put to work. For decades, feminism has been dressed up as being about equality and liberation for women. In reality, feminism has nothing to do with women. Its true purpose has always been about enslaving us all. These films will explore some of the issues surrounding feminism. These include domestic violence, child abuse, fatherlessness, equality, health and education. I'll look at these issues and I hope to show you something of an alternative view to the mainstream depiction you'll get on television.